Uh, can you hear me now? I've just unmuted my audio. So don't unmute your mute your audio, otherwise we hear all the kids in the background noise. Um, great. Okay, Susanna, hello, you can hear me. Um, Rachel, you can't hear me? Oh, yes, you can now. Cool. Excellent. We'll get started. Um, it's just 11.01, so I'll just wait a couple more minutes because um, we'll have a few more people arriving, I'm sure. Um, and for some reason, everybody's got sound on when they arrive. But I, um, anyway, it doesn't matter. That's okay. Um, so you can actually, it's very static. Okay. Is it, uh, is it clear sound for everyone else? I can put my earbuds on, my headphone on, and that might actually make it easier. Is, um, oh, it's clear for you, Susanna. Yep, clear for Rachel. Maybe perhaps just turn up your volume, Stephanie. Oh, it's clear now. Cool. Okay. I was going to put my, um, my headphones on. So we'll get started. Oh, good. Okay, great. Everyone can hear me. Um, so with the chat box, now that you're familiar with using it, if you haven't already been on Zoom, um, what I'll do at the end of today's uh, webinar is uh, take some questions and answers from you. So um, we can uh, do that at the end and you can actually type those in at the bottom. If anything comes up, I'll just ask you to wait until the end and then what we can do is um, have a bit of a question and answer time and you can type your message in there. You'll see that it says to everyone in blue just above where you type your message. If you do want to select something um, and send something to me privately without other people, without having to share, you can do that from the drop down and it'll say to share privately with Sarah. Um, but if you're happy to ask a question that uh, it might actually help other people at the same time, then please do that too. So we'll get started. I'll just um, pop over to um, the share. I'll just open up the slides. Um, can everybody see that? Let me know if you can. That's all good. You can see my, I'll just um, pop back in. Everyone happy and see the slides? Yep. 
I'll just pop into the chat and just have a little look. Yes. Can everyone see the slides? Yay, you can. Thanks, Rachel. Cool. I'll just um, I'll just um, shrink down. So if you are arriving, can you? Oh, thanks, Mark. You can see the slide. If you are arriving, can you just mute yourself? For some reason, Zoom is actually letting everybody's sound come on. Um, you can see, but hard to hear. Sorry, Stephanie. I think there might be something going on with your computer, Stephanie, because everyone else is saying it's really clear. If you're just arriving now, just pop yourself on mute. Um, and if you uh, do want to pop any messages, you'll see down in the middle of the screen, it says chat. Um, you can type your message there and then it pops up on the side. And what we'll do is we'll take some questions towards the end. Um, so if that sounds good to everybody, I'll get started. I'll just mute the... So just mute yourself if you do come in, just so we don't have any background noise. We've got people arriving now, so everyone's just being muted. Okay, yep, that sounds good. Um, so just make yourself um, muted if you do come in. For some reason, it's, I don't know, just doing something a bit crazy. Uh, that's Zoom. Anyhow, we'll get started because I don't want to hold you all up. I know it's a really busy time of the year and I want to thank you uh, for taking the time out today um, to join me on this webinar. I've got some really exciting stuff to share with you, some really good information. Um, so the webinar topic, as you would have seen, it's not too late to find your dream clients. So the time of year is so critical if you are in a product-based business. Um, it is the most lucrative time of the year for you to be able to um, really, really capitalise on this time of year and get your products in front of key decision makers, um, whether they be corporate, whether they be stockers, um, whoever it is that you're selling to with your products. If it's airport stores, I've got some really um, uh, good meaty uh, information to share with you in my slides. And um, I uh, will. Oh, someone's just popping up with a message there. Um, and I will actually have a chat to you more uh, just about what uh, marketing system that I've um, developed and that I share with my um, uh, clients and what they've adapted and the results they've got. So I think you'll be really interested to, um, to see that. Um, and um, I'm really, really excited about sharing that with you today. So let's get into it. So first of all, um, just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, because you are dedicating this time for your business, um, what I'd like you to do is just switch your, your phone notifications off or put, pop it on silent and just put your phone away. And I'd love you to grab um, paper and pen because I think what you'll find is, is that you'll want to write down some notes. So if you've got a pen and paper handy, just um, uh, get that out and just pop your phone and notifications on uh, mute. So then you're not as distracted because I know what it's like, you're, you know, there's so many um, tech and gadgets going all at the same time just so then you can fully immerse into the training for, you know, the next sort of 40 minutes. Um, then what we will do at the end, if you can save your questions um, to the end, um, I'll get you to use the chat box and you can ask me any questions and I'm, I'm more than happy to stay on as long as it takes um, to answer your questions. So let's get started into these slides. Uh, let's see where we go. Um, so we're talking about three ways you can sell more products in the next 30 days. So we're actually almost, because today's the 20th, um, it's actually my son's birthday. It's his 10th birthday, so I do know the date. Um, so this is about three ways you can sell more products in the next 30 days. So for those of you who stay until the end, I've actually got a really exciting bonus offer. Um, and that is um, something that I only um, share with my VIP products mastermind clients. So my high-end program, I've actually never shared this with anyone before. But if you stay until the end today, you will, I will reveal how you can get a hold of that. Um, it is my master pricing template. So it's the correct formula that you should use if you are a product wholesaler, if you are wanting to price yourself um, profitably. And also um, the other template that I have, which is also great, is if you're doing bundles or if you're doing gift packs, if you want to mark up your products and sell them to corporate, 
then um, that also is going to um, help you too. And that's valued at $197. So who is Sarah Cross? It, uh, this is photos of myself. They're my two sons who are now 12 and 10. And my lovely husband, Adam, um, we recently got married in August after seven years of um, being together. He's not the father of my children. Uh, that's another story. But um, we had a, a lovely wedding, a small wedding and a trip to New York. So that was really fabulous. So in terms of who I am, I'm a product growth strategist. And I work with creative product owners to help them tap into multiple revenue streams. So in the homeware and lifestyle industry, they all, they all have products. A lot of my clients design their products, they have their, their products manufactured, um, and they also import products directly. So they have international distribution, they also have agents that represent them. And what we do together is scale their business to hit a million dollars. And I'll be talking a bit about that on the webinar. So um, this is where I want you to have your pen and paper handy. I'm going to be sharing with you four of the biggest mistakes that I see product sellers making. So when it comes to target marketing, uh, that's actually an area where I think a lot of people uh, aren't, they have beautiful products, but they just simply aren't able to hit the, hit the market. They're not able to fish where the fish are. So if you remember that, you know, you need to fish where the fish are. You need to know where your ideal client is going to um, be swimming if they are in a pond and you need to have your fishing line in that pond in order to position yourself in front of the target market that you wish to sell to. And that is obviously going to relate to your product um, that you're selling. So when it comes to our target market and then choosing your ideal customer, it's really about narrowing down um, where they spend the most amount of time. So if it's the decision makers um, are going to be hanging out mostly on, let's say, LinkedIn, um, that is where you need to spend your marketing time. And uh, that's, oh, sorry, I've just got a little message popping through. Let me just have a little look at the chat box. Sorry. Is everyone able to hear? Yeah, the audio is poor. Yes, hard to hear. Okay, just, talk, just turn, everyone else is fine. Alama with the sound, so just turn your, um, just check your um, audio, your volumes up. Sorry, everyone, I'll keep going. Uh, so target marketing. So it is really about where the decision makers are hanging out. You need to have your product in front of the decision makers. And that is what I position and strategize with my private clients. That's the most important part of being able to increase your sales and sell more product um, is with your targeting. And it's about going to them directly, not waiting for them to find you, not wait, waiting to have people arrive on your website. Um, you do need to be really proactive and be out there pitching and making offers. That is the best way to get the cut through in terms of attracting and um, identifying and attracting your target market. So that is sort of something that I guess I always focus on first when I do work with clients um, is positioning and making sure that they are in, their products are in front of the right target market. So fish where the fish are. That is something to always keep in the back of your mind and maybe perhaps write that down as well, just as a little reminder for yourself. Um, so we'll just jump to the next slide. So your point of difference. Now this is actually another really, really important, um, I see lots of mistakes being made as a business coach about people positioning their products. And if you are in a really saturated market, let's say candles, for instance, that is a really big, big industry where there are some really, you know, big players in that market. They've already got market share. They're already really, it's quite a saturated um, market. And um, at the trade shows, um, that's commonly all I see is people making, you know, and selling candles. So 
In terms of creating a point of difference, I'll give you a, an example of um, a really great success story that I have with, with a client of mine, um, Deepa. Uh, when she first came to me, she had a very generic um, candle making business. And at that point in time, when I asked her what her points of difference was and who her target market was, she wasn't really sure. She sort of indicated that she could sell to everybody. And as we know, with target marketing, you know, it's much easier to get cut through when you know you're putting your products in front of the decision makers and the, the right target audience. So what we did to create a point of difference for her, we decided that we were going to position her business that, so that it was quite unique. Um, the point of difference was going to be that she was going to do a collaboration with an Indigenous artist. She was going to purchase the license rights to a, a couple of the designs of the Indigenous artist. And she was going to um, do, do the outer packaging in a really beautiful four week candle in a travel tin. And what we were going to do is position, and which we did do, um, is that we actually were able to um, uh, get cut through uh, when we packaged up the Indigenous uh, travel tin in the design of the Aboriginal design, which looked amazing. Um, we were able to then pitch her as an Australian um, uh, souvenir uh, gifting product. So that, that then was very clear on the target audience that we were going to be um, putting her, her products in front of. And it was an overnight success because um, she filled the, 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 the candles were a soy botanical Australian fragrance such as lemon myrtle and um, bush honey and really beautiful scents. Um, she sent uh, uh, her products in and we, did, we were able to get an immediate cut through into the um, airports in Brisbane. Because of course, um, anything that's indigenous, anything that has uh, Australiana theme, um, when you're pitching towards uh, retail travel, it's going to line up perfectly, which it did. So that's, that's an example, like, that's a bit of a story in terms of creating a point of difference. If, you, if your product is in a really uh, saturated market and you're competing against people, you know, I never say that you should compete with price, um, people are prepared to pay more uh, for good quality and for good service. So sometimes creating a point of difference um, is sometimes about delivering, over delivering in, in service. Sometimes that means that your turnaround time for, you, for your order fulfillment can be met a lot faster than expectation. That then creates a really great working relationship. If you're, uh, you know, supplying to uh, stockers um, and they're expecting a delivery uh, within 14 days and, and you're able to fulfill that order for them a lot faster, you know, in half that time, they'll come back and, and reorder from you. And that's something that, you know, I would pop that down if you've got pen and paper handy in terms of creating a point of difference. It is really important for you to be able to um, over deliver on your customer service. So it's not always based on um, pricing. It's not always based, um, I've seen people sell products that are priced higher than their competitors, and it's not based upon um, price alone, having a point of difference. It is actually also being able to stand out, whether it be personalized, customized uh, service. So you might be able to, uh, for instance, um, you know, privately brand, um, do customization for a client, perhaps it's a volume order. Um, and that's something that I, I think is really, really important. Um, my background, uh, when I first started my first business at the age of 25, I had a bit of a crazy ride. I decided I wanted to start doing a business at 25. I threw in my job and um, I decided to take that really big leap of faith um, of being a business owner, which is what my, both, both my parents are. And um, I started the business in the August and in the early December, I took a phone call from a uh, referral um, that I had. They knew that I'd started doing gift hampers. And um, at that time, I'm sitting on my couch in my two bedroom apartment. Um, I took the phone call and they placed an order for 800 gift hampers. So that was a $30,000 order from one corporate client. 
And that was quite phenomenal. Of course, I was, um, I just said yes. And I thought, it's so much money. It's such a turning point for me. I have to take it and I have to work out how I'm going to do it. At that point in time, I had no idea how I was going to, how I was going to turn out an order um, before Christmas uh, for this city law firm and of 800 hand wrapped hampers. And I did everything. I did everything the crazy way. I put handmade chocolate truffles inside the hampers and it was a really hot summer in Melbourne, Australia, where I'm based. Um, I did a delivery on a Friday, which was during peak hour traffic, which was just nuts. Um, in terms of getting help, it was a family affair. I got on the phone straight away to my mum and asked her to, um, you know, come down and help me to, to actually wrap and put all these hampers together. And it was just nuts. The whole two bedroom apartment was like an explosion, like Santa's workshop on steroids. Um, and we borrowed space from neighbours and it all came together. It all was fabulous. And what it came down to was being able to, you know, deliver. Um, and that is a point of difference, you know, being able to say yes, to have flexibility, to be able to um, customise uh, for clients. So when it comes to pricing, um, what I do see are mistakes that are being made. I would say 60% of my clients who I initially start to work with, their pricing structure is completely out of whack. So that means that they are not positioning their products in the market to be profitable. They either need to look at their supply chain, um, either negotiation with uh, manufacturers and suppliers as to what their pricing is. Um, and it does mean that you know, in terms of setting yourself up um, and getting the pricing correct from the get-go, I mean, some clients have been operating at under a profit with the pricing incorrect for sometimes 12 months, two years. So just simply having a, a small shift um, and a correction there can save thousands and thousands of dollars. And um, I do have clients that, you know, commonly say to me, I had no idea that I was supposed to be making that sort of money. I had no idea that I should have factored in, um, you know, these elements when I'm putting together either my, my corporate gift bundles or my, um, my products for a wholesale and retail pricing. So that's something really, really important um, is about pricing and, and getting it right from, you know, the very start. Now, sales approach, that's another really good thing in terms of, um, you know, what I'm going to share with you today. It's not about cold calling. Um, cold calling is, is not that effective. Um, email sequences are, but they are slower. So what we're talking about is something that you want to get cut through um, in the next 30 days. You want to get your products and your business um, you know, uh, profitable and selling more in the next 30 days. So what I'm going to be sharing with you is uh, the system that I actually um, adopted in my first business, um, which reached, um, you know, it was a multi-million dollar business that I started from my kitchen table. And it's the same system that I teach every one of my clients. And that's how they actually um, are building businesses to a million dollars. So that's to come. Um, I think, with, in terms of sales approach, mistakes that I do see um, and mistakes for you to avoid is just being reliant on just one single platform or just one single approach. I don't believe there is just one, um, one level of being able to market your business. I, I think um, being able to have multiple revenue streams is one way that you can rapidly scale your product business. And that is really, really important to, to understand and to be able to tap into. So having a strategic marketing plan for your sales approach is really, really important. Um, and that's something that, um, you know, I see people trying to, um, you know, making the mistakes and getting very frustrated. And look at times, um, you know, it impacts so much on their cash flow and on their mental, um, their mental state. You know, it's, can be really, really frustrating when you know that there are opportunities out there, but you're just not actually able to get cut through and get to the decision maker. You're not able to get your gorgeous products in front of them. Therefore, your sales are just um, diminishing and you're not actually seeing any growth. 
So we'll tap into that a little bit more and I'll, um, I'll go through that as well. So just jump to the next slide. So what we're going to now start to talk about is some easy ways for you to attract your ideal product buyers. Um, and this is where I get quite um, excited. Hopefully I'm not talking too fast. I do have a habit of talking a bit fast, especially when I get excited about, um, I get a thrill out of seeing um, people who have uh, invested in themselves and put themselves out there to scale a business and to make a business successful and a full-time income, I get really excited when I see that they're getting those results and that they're actually really living out what their dream is and having that dream business. So um, I'll try and slow down so I don't talk too fast for you. So what we're going to talk about is how to get in front of your potential high ticket clients and get the cut through. So there's some dollar signs that we're going to be talking about here. Um, and so in terms of I'm sure everyone here who has actually made the time to be on the webinar, um, that you all really want to know how to secure your recurring volume orders because that's where healthy cash flow comes through. So what I'm going to talk about is my formula that I, I mentioned earlier. Um, it's about, uh, it's a four step um, proven marketing system for getting your products to profits. So I'm going to just run through and talk a little bit about that four-step predictable product marketing system that I've um, uh, will, and then I'll share some stories with you as well as to um, the results um, that I've seen with my clients adopting and using this uh, system. So module one is really, um, it's all about product market matching. And with product market matching, it's about making your business stand out so that prospects who need your products can easily find you. And it's also about identifying what makes you different from everyone else, just to give your product driven business the best shot at getting noticed. And to be able to clearly communicate your product point of difference. So this is what I touched on about point of difference. If you started to take some notes down, this is actually more of an in-depth um, uh, system uh, in module one of being able to, to clearly communicate that. Um, and, uh, and then that, that, that module has obviously step-by-step -step, um, lessons, which walk you through that phase of the system and you get worksheets and checklists as well, of course. So attracting and converting is module two, and that's uh, the second stage, the phase um, that you move into once you've identified your product market match. Um, with attracting and converting, this is something that I think is really, really critical. It's actually probably one of the biggest ones there. It's about optimizing your marketing system for conversions so that you can grow your email list by hundreds month after month. So this is about lead generation. This is about your target market, um, your target prospect. And it's about engaging with marketing tools that uh, rapidly showcase your ideal prospects, why they must have your products in store. So this is a really important module. Um, it's, it's one that moves on from after you've identified your product market match and your target audience and point of difference. This is all about setting these up, which can be automated. So you can set these up so that you've constantly got a really good pool of um, prospects coming through. So everyone needs lead generation. You can't just rely on, you know, referrals and, and obviously you can, you can run paid ads, but this is something that you can set up and you can adopt and have long term. So it's part of a system that you can keep on, on, on going with in order to boost your cash flow. So module three um, covers fast track marketing and I'll go into depth a little bit more in a moment about the system. So I'm going to actually reveal to you um, a little bit more, open up module three so you can actually um, have a look at what, um, what people in the past who have used this program, what results they've got. So fast track marketing is really a way of being able to add lots of fresh targeted prospective buyers. Um, and obviously add them to your email list month after month. So you can build real momentum for your business. And the system that we use to implement that is the LinkedIn system. 
So it's really easy to use. You can set it up with uh, automation tools so that you're connecting and constantly nurturing your ideal prospects um, each day. And it's really zero effort. It's actually once you've learnt this um, method and, and this system, it's something that you can outsource. Um, it's also something that will constantly bring in um, new, fresh uh, prospective buyers to your gorgeous products. And that, that is obviously going to um, result in an increase in sales, which is what we're all here for. So um, again, that in, includes a video lesson, walks you through each step in that module, and there's worksheets and, and checklists. And then um, module four, so this is the last module um, as part of the Products to Profits program. Um, it's all about scaling for profit. So that's how you learn how to uh, with this system is increase your revenue streams and it's more about your expansion of your product range. So we talk, you know, we cover off influences and collaborations, but it starts to, at this point, um, what I have seen is clients getting massive results, just starting to pour in by tapping into those new revenue streams. So this is about those untapped opportunities when you know that you have a fabulous product but you just simply have been feeling frustrated you know that there's more out there but you just haven't been able to get your business to the next level this module is perfect for uncovering what you need to do in order to take you there so that's really a combination of um, other marketing strategies that you can use to generate um, uh, getting your products in front of the decision makers and getting more, securing more of those volume orders. So if you've got the pen and paper handy, this is what I'm going to reveal to you in terms of your key target industries that you need to be identifying to be able to scale and get volume orders. So I'll just run through them and you can just jot them down. Retail travel is a really big one. Um, that's something that I, my, one of my specialties is um, working with clients to get their products stocked at the national airports, at the retail stores. Um, then there's corporates, of course. So tapping into multinational or the um, ASX size companies. So bigger corporates, you know, they can have budgets of anything from 10,000 to 50,000. In my first corporate gifting business um, that was scaled to multi-million, um, I looked after accounts that were worth $300,000 for clients. Um, so now there's also national buyer agencies, they're stockists of homewares and lifestyle products. And that's where I, you know, I see a lot of people who are selling uh, nationally and internationally to stockists. Uh, another really great one is events and conferences. So um, that is something that is an all year round, all year round um, event that you can um, uh, promote your products to. And um, there's delegate gifts, there's um, speaker, key speaker gifts, there's attendee gifts. Um, and a lot of events and conferences are managed um, by PR agencies. So PR agencies are also, um, they have a large pool of clients that run promotional events and conferences. So that's also another avenue that um, I have a lot of clients have success with. Um, so they collaborate, they might incorporate a product um, and it might be, uh, you know, it, it's complementary to your product. Um, so high-end hotels and day spas is another really great one if you've got any type of product that is food or um, it could be perhaps like an, a lovely body product. Um, that goes really well, especially in sort of minibar size um, and, and also um, into boutique hotels as well. Um, there's premium property development companies. There's distri distribution companies, so they can actually look after your product from... Um, the manufacturing, they can pick it up from port and they can actually um, sell and distribute products on your behalf. 
Um, of course, they take a commission out of that. Um, there's independent sales reps that you can actually have. That's another really great way of, of tapping into multiple revenue streams. And then there's also um, the artists, which partnering up with, the, with artists um, and product-based businesses. I see beautiful collaborations come out with packaging and with um, uh, Australiana gifting into the national airports. That's another thing that um, uh, really seems to be um, very hot and in demand. If you're looking for sort of opportunities to have a really hot in demand product, um, partnering up with um, artists, uh, that, that's also a really an, another really great factor as well in terms of being able to target industries for scaling those volume orders. So let's dive in and talk a little bit about module three that I mentioned earlier. So this is about fast track marketing. And this is what we want because we're 30 days out from Christmas. This is the most lucrative time that you need to uh, get your product in front of more, more eyeballs. So business is all about people doing business with people. And what we're going to talk about is how to get the cut through, how to get through the noise and land the volume orders. So my, my platform of choice and where my clients get their biggest accounts and their biggest um, results is using LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is, has got 500 million users globally and it's the biggest business to business networking platform globally. Now, when you use LinkedIn to target and attract your ideal decision maker, you are going to be building an online relationship with them and ascertaining if they are the correct decision maker. So as it's a business to business networking platform, it's completely acceptable to reach out and to connect with your target decision maker who's going to be responsible. So it could be the, you know, the merchandising buyer, it could be um, uh, any, of the, any of the big buyers in the, in the multinationals, it could be um, you know, a multi-chain store for stockists. And there's loads of those. And that, that actually in turn means more volume orders when um, uh, your products are being stocked in multi-stores. They're going to be ordering in much greater volume than if it was just a single standalone bricks and mortar store. So with the fast track marketing, um, the system that I have created is that you actually are going to use a template of LinkedIn email sequence, which is actually included in module three. So you get that template of, of knowing what to say and how to connect with the decision maker. And once we've actually made that connection online, what we're going to do then is directly take that relationship offline, which is, you know, it sounds a little bit old school, but this is where the cut through comes. So this is actually called a lumpy strategy. And it's a direct mail targeting strategy. And what you can see here in the image is a lookbook, a style guide of one of my um, very big successful clients. Um, and then she has a, a black um, padded envelope in the background. Um, and she also has a really beautiful cookie, which is stamped shoes are carb free, which is really cute. Um, and so that was an introduction uh, lumpy pack that she sent to her targeted stockers. So once the, once the lumpy mail has been sent out directly to that list that you have and you've qualified the decision maker, what you need to do is a follow-up phone call. And picking up the phone isn't as, it's no longer a cold call. There is obviously, um, uh, there has been a connection. They've received, your prospect has received something on their desk. Um, they've enjoyed eating the cookie or whatever the item is that you've sent. It could be one of your products that you send them. But this is what gets the most impact because it's actually, they call it the side effect. So it's actually landing on the, on the desk in front of your key decision maker. And then they are expecting a phone call from you because you've actually mentioned that in, in your package. That phone call needs to happen within 48 hours of you actually sending them that gift and then receiving it. So what the goal is, is here, is for you to get a person-to-person -person, um, meeting to showcase your products. So if they're interstate, obviously that's a different story, but if they are in your local state, this is how you're going to get in front of them. This is if you're going to um, be able to get through and get the order out and, and, and 
also set up a, a you know a time that you can get that so that will actually ensure that you will get the conversion you'll get the confirmed sale so I'm just going to show you a few of the stories um, when clients have adopted the fast track marketing system that I teach and, and that again that's part of module three this is Helen from Poppy and Daisy Design um, Helen is now a stockist to one of our um, uh, national Australian airports in the retail travel stores so this is a little bit of a um, of a guide of her lookbook of what she created and it's very pretty as you can see it's um, basically covering off you know the benefits and who she works with and her contact details um, and this is what Helen said once she'd been through the program she said the marketing system that Sarah teaches works the combination of using LinkedIn and finding the decision maker it's definitely taking me out of my comfort zone but we all know that this is when the true growth and magic happens so here's uh, uh, Naomi, who is uh, from Avarcus, Australia. Um, she has handmade Spanish women's shoes that she imports. Her business within 12 months of us coaching together has hit a million dollars of yearly revenue. And she was able to grow her monthly stock orders to 90,000 in less than three months using this exact same strategy. Uh, this here is Victoria and she is an Australian artist um, and she has a beautiful product range of homewares of her, um, of her designs. Um, she secured a 4,000 unit order with one of the major national retailers. Um, which was a $14,000, which was just their test order to, um, to start with. So she was extremely thrilled with that result. And this here is um, on the left uh, is her business, The Scenic Route. And um, she inserted some beautiful lumpies and you can see her Australiana designs of bird life and flora fauna. And on the right is her lumpy pack of how she presented that to be able to tap into those, to secure those really big volume orders. Um, and this here is her lookbook. So it's very colorful and very pretty. Um, it gives the potential prospect a really good idea about um, the types of products that she um, does, um, prints and gift cards and gift wrap and um, lots of really beautiful things. And this is um, Amondo Kids, this is Sharon. Um, in just seven days, Sharon received a LinkedIn response from a massive hot lead who's the biggest airport buyer in Australia. And she said, they really love my products. I'm super excited. This was part of our master strategic plan to get my products into the national airports. Thanks to your program, Sarah. So now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how you can have and adopt the same system. If that's something that you really want, if, you've, if this has sparked um, you know, a few ideas for you and got your mind ticking over that you actually wanna know some really fabulous proven strategies, um, that these have been delivering real results and real value, um, helping my clients to build trust and to also increase their revenue. So I've got a special offer, which I mentioned at the start, if you stayed until the end, what I'm gonna share with you. If you are to join today to the Products to Profits e-course, it includes four modules of worksheets, checklists and templates, so that is the uh, email sequence form uh, for LinkedIn, um, all the checklists that you need to ensure that you complete for each module. Um, so there's step-by-step -step, um, uh, audio videos walking you through each part of the system. So it's really easy to follow, really you know, um, easy to adopt. This is a system that is actually going to help you really, really move the needle in your business. And plus what you get today is two free bonuses worth a total value of 494. So those two free bonuses are my ultimate guide to finding your ideal client. And the other bonus is that I mentioned, which I think everyone would really love, is to basically qualify that you, your products are correctly priced. So it's my master pricing template formula 
that you will get access to. And it's only something that I've ever shared before with my high-end uh, VIP program clients. So I don't share that ever. Um, you can't get that anywhere on my website. You can only get that if you work privately with me at a much higher cost. So I'm offering this up in this e-course because I think it's really, really essential. And it's also um, it's something that can be a game changer for people who haven't had their pricing correct. And the moment that they change it, then they will be able to do that. I'll take questions at the end just to let you know if anyone's popping anything in the chat box, I will um, have some Q and A at the end. So just write out any questions that you might have and I'll answer them at the end of the webinar today. So here's some other clients. Um, Catherine, in the first 30 days of implementing this system, increased her monthly revenue by 70%. So we're talking 30 days till Christmas. Today's the 20th. So if that's something that you would really love to have happening in your business, um, then that's something that Catherine was able to implement uh, the same system and increase her monthly revenue by 70%. Um, Michelle signed up her first corporate client deal for uh, 200 units. And that was within 45 days of learning the same system, same program, um, products, profits. And Nay doubled her monthly sales from 35,000 to 70,000 in just 30 days, just by tapping into a new revenue stream and completing this program. So I'll just pop this up again and then I'll share the link with you. So I've got some really nice goodies, which is really exciting. And thank you for, for taking the time out today to be here um, to find out how you can really uh, get in front of your ideal prospects and um, make some serious sales before Christmas. So with the special price today, what I'm offering is $100 off and that's today only. Um, it brings it down to 297 USD for the entire four modules. Um, the discount code that you need to use is SAVE100. So when you're at checkout, when you've clicked through, I'll post up the link in a moment for you to be able to jump on. Um, you pop in SAVE100 and that immediately takes $100 off the full price for you. Plus you're going to get the two free bonuses, which is valued at 494. So that's those two master pricing um, uh, formula bundles for wholesale and corporate, which is valued at 197. And then there's also my ultimate guide to finding your ideal customer, which is valued at 297. So uh, it's a really good time if you're wanting to buy, I wouldn't um, uh, sort of sit on it and, and think about it. It's a, it's a proven system and it's something if you've got products and you want to scale your sales, it's something that I just think is essential for you to have. So there's the link there. It's sarahjcross.com forward slash products to profits. And the discount code is save 100. So I'm opening up the cart now um, and that will close, I think, in uh, the next two days. So the link that you need to join um, to, to learn more um, about the Products to Profits course is sarahjcross.com forward slash products to profits. So what I'm going to do now is just pop over and um, I did promise that there will be some question time. Um, if you've got any questions from the slides or about the program, um, please uh, down the bottom you'll see on your screen it says chat. Um, please um, pop in uh, the chat box uh, any questions that you've got. So Susanna said, with our coaching system, will I be getting everything I need? I assume I don't have to do this. <laughs> yes, that's correct, Susanna. You will have absolutely everything um, that you need because you have, you're going to be working with me privately. So um, you're all good. Um, but this is a good snapshot for you to have um, logged on before we get started. So does anyone else have any questions at all that they would like to pop in? Um, great, thanks. No worries, Susanna. Um, anyone else that has, it? maybe this has sparked some sort of questions for you with regards to, it could be the, the lumpy mail or it could be, um, it could be anything that you know, you sort of, that's come to mind. I think there's another message here. I'll just scroll down to the bottom. Can you assist with product development? 
Um, yes, absolutely. Um, that would be something that we would need to speak about, Joe. Um, and that is obviously going to um, not be covered in this online course because it's obviously um, you're going to require more of a, um, a strategy for your product development, but absolutely, um, we, can, we can do that together. Um, and we can, I know we've got each other's emails, so um, more than happy to set up a time if you wanna have a chat about that and how that would work um, and what that would involve. So let me know if that's answered your questions. Okay, Joe. I'll just go scroll through and see if there's any other questions um, that you might have. Um, another message has come through. Great, thanks, Joe. Yes, no worries. That'd be great. Well, perhaps we can actually have that chat um, with regards to that when you're ready. Um, and I'd be more than happy to be able to help you with the um, the strategy for your um, product development with your um, with your business. Is there any other questions? I'm happy to um, wait. I'm not sure if anyone's typing, um, but I'm happy to um, uh, take any more questions. Um, I'll just move the chat box over. Oh no, it's not gonna move. Oh, there we go. Just so you can see the link there. So sarahjcross.com forward slash products to profits. If you want to save $100 off, just pop that discount code in. Um, you'll also qualify for those bonuses of 494. Um, and I think the master template formula is worth a lot more money if it is in the case that your pricing is not correct. Uh, okay, great, Susanna. Thanks so much. Oh, it's already got you thinking. Yay, that's great. Um, that's what I wanted to have happen is that it actually does spark um, and gets, gets things moving um, for people once they see that there are so many other opportunities and so many other multiple revenue streams that you can tap into um, for your product sales. So I think that might, I don't know if there's anyone else, just pop in a question quickly. If you need to go, I understand because, um, and I thank you for, for being here on the call. And, um, uh, you know, it's almost, um, it's almost been an hour. It's been 50 minutes that we've been here chatting away about this. So really, really um, feel very honored to, to have you all here and have you on the call. Um, if there is any, anyone that needs to speak to me, um, more than happy for you to pop an email to me. It's uh, just sarah at sarahjcross.com. If you want to reach out to me and speak to me privately um, and, um, and not here in the chat box, I understand. I'd be more than happy to um, connect with you via email. So I'm just going to close down the chat box now. And um, I'd like to say a very big thank you and wish you all the best for your Christmas sales and um, leading up to Christmas. Oh, I think there's one more question that's just popped in. Let me see, Mark, hi Mark, thank you. I may reach out and send you a mail to discuss my situation in more details. Yeah, absolutely Mark. So it's sarah at sarahjcross.com and I'll, um, I'll look out for your email. So thanks everybody for your time and for putting this, the time aside to learn more. I, I hope that you got um, to understand um, more steps and more opportunities and more strategies. And I wish you um, all the very best in building your businesses. Bye for now.